This passage is letting us know that God gives us freedom, liberty to choose for ourselves whether or not we are going to place the status of one day above another or not. Now, you can apply this to, to, hol to holidays, which is short for holy days. Some people like to celebrate Christmas. Some people don't. Some people want to celebrate Easter. Some people don't. And I'm talking about setting aside time to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ or the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you don't want to celebrate, you know what? You don't have to. And I'm not going to judge you for it. I don't care if you do or not. The Bible is giving us a freedom here. But I don't want to be judged if I choose to esteem a day above another. I want to esteem this day above another because I'm going to esteem that day for the Lord. Either way, the Bible gives us the freedom to do with that what we want. And hey, if you want to esteem a day to take a rest, go for it. If you want to esteem Sunday, a lot of people do. We don't want to do anything on Sunday. We want to go to church. We're going to spend time with our family. And that's what we're going to do on Sunday. Great. Good for you. And someone else says, well, I'm going to go to church and then I'm going to go to work. And I'll go to church again and then I'm going to go to work. Have at it. You've got freedom. 